Leading for Britain, the BRM team in their season of success, with two of their latest fuel-injected V8s, which had hit winning form from their first time out in the start of the season at Zandvoort. For them, this was indeed an occasion in every sense. A great chance for Richie Ginter. An even greater chance for Graham Hill, who had at last the opportunity to drive a car worthy of his skill. And of the Rouen circuit, Graham Hill says this. I think it's one of the finest uh, Grand Prix circuits in Europe, and it has some curves which put um, premium on driving skill. And of course, um, there's an uphill section which requires a, a lot of uh, power and torque and again driving skill. And uh, speaking of curves, or would you rather listen to the BBC? Team Lotus was there in force, of course. Their two cars, theoretically, the principal rivals to the BRMs, thanks to Colin Chapman's sensational development of stressed skin monocoque construction in the Lotus 25. Always impatient of weight, Chapman has now reduced the cars to a four-wheeled fuel tank with an engine on the back. It's as well that his leading driver, Jim Clark, is made to measure. And of the Rouen circuit, Jim Clark says this. Well, this uh, actually is the first time I've been here at Rouen, and uh, I am very impressed. I think it's a, a very good course indeed. Backing up Jim Clark, the Formula Junior graduate, Trevor Taylor, as debonair as any film star. Red snout and dark green body. The sleek lines of the 1962 Formula One Lola. It's the Bowmaker Racing Team. To all intents and purposes, a works entry, but privately financed by the famous credit firm. Under the team management of Reg Parnell, the Lolas are immaculately prepared, but until now, a major Grand Prix of success has eluded their star driver, the seven times world motorcycle champion, John Surtees. Of the Grand Prix circuits, I would say it's one of the finer ones. And naturally, it's um, rather more interesting than the sort of flat out blinds you tend to have on certain other circuits. It's a wonderful setting and uh, I think it's very enjoyable. John Surtees' teammate, Roy Salvadori, one of the most experienced drivers on the circuits today. Well, it's a, it's a wonderful circuit. Very, very tricky circuit, one that you have to treat with a lot of respect, especially the downhill section which is terribly quick and you can't afford to uh, even be a foot out of line. But um, it demands the maximum from the driver and car. Another name that Britain may be proud of and the man who made it so, John Cooper. From 500cc racing for fun to the Formula One World Championship, the Cooper team has always embodied the finest spirit of British racing. New Zealander Bruce McLaren and South African Tony Maggs are no exception. And let's not forget the twice world champion from Down Under, Jack Brabham, this year a Lotus private entry. From France, Maurice Trantino, now Rob Walker's number one driver in the absence of Sterling Moss. And what's this? Bob Gibson Jarvis UDT Lestal team attracts the cameras. Two privately entered Lotuses, as pretty as a picture. Well, some pictures.